Hi, Dmitry Bondar there. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos has stepped down as the chief executive officer of Amazon. Why it's important? Jeff Bezos is the richest person in the world who has a fortune of almost $200 billion. His company Amazon is the e-commerce giant. Its price has shown rapid growth over the last five years. It's one of the most expensive and reliable companies. And many, many people like me and you bought Amazon shares. So let me show you his letter to employees that he wrote two days ago. So what does this change of CEO mean uh, for us retail investors? How it can affect the stock price and the price of the company in the long run? Who will be the next CEO of the biggest e-commerce giant? Okay, stay tuned and in this video we will find answers to all these questions. On Tuesday morning, Jeff Bezos announced that he will leave the post of CEO of Amazon and will become the executive chairman. And Mr. Bezos will be replaced by Andy Jassy, who currently leads Amazon cloud computing business. This change will take place in the second uh, half of 2021, the company said in his letter. Being the CEO of Amazon is a deep responsibility and it's a highly time-consuming. When you have a responsibility like that, it's hard to put attention on anything else, Mr. Bezos said in a letter to Amazon staff on Thursday. As executive chairman, I will stay engaged in important Amazon initiatives but also have the time and energy I need to focus on the day one fund, the Bezos Earth Fund, Blue Origin, the Washington Post and my other patients. I've never had more energy and this is, isn't about retiring. I'm a super patient about the impact I think these organizations can have, he added in his letter I showed you several seconds ago. Okay, who is the new CEO Andy Jassy? He's a Harvard graduate and has been with Amazon uh, since 1997 and helped develop Amazon Web Services, which uh, gave a lot of profit to the company. And let me show you this picture. Amazon Web Service AVS, which provides cloud computing and storage for government and companies, including McDonald's and Netflix, has become one of the company's most important business, accounting for 10% of sales in last quarter and 52% of the company's profits. The company had record-breaking holiday season last year, Amazon said, reporting sales of about $125 billion, its largest quarter of all time. What else do we know about the background of Andy that might set AVS as Amazon or is Amazon really now as AVS? Okay, so it does show that there is going to be a bigger focus on cloud and technology, but at the end of the day, Andy will still continue to drive share gains even within the uh, online business. And there is a business that we haven't talked about today, which advertising. Yes, you're right. Amazon's made a big push on advertising and we really do think that there is going to be significant growth in the area for Amazon as we move forward into the next decade. And I think Andy has done a terrific job at AVS. AVS continues to be the profit engine of the company and support the retail business as continuing investment. In the first quarter, AVS grew revenue to 29% to $12 billion. That year-over-year -year growth rate held roughly steady versus the third quarter, but slowed over 2019, and the segment matured further as the US market share leader in cloud web hosting. And EVS operating income grew even more strong, jumping 37 to nearly 3.6 billion. The announcement of Bezos' departure came in tandem with Amazon's fiscal first quarter earnings results, which handily top expectations. The e-commerce giant reported earnings of about uh, $14.09 per share on record revenue of $129 billion, compared to consensus estimate for $7.34 per share on revenue of $190 billion, according to Bloomberg data. Let's look at this graph. Here you can see the growth of AVS. This tells us a lot about Andy, since under his leadership the company grew so well. So, we don't have a worry about the future of Amazon. This company will remain one of the most reliable and prospective one on the market. And new CEO will lead it as well as the previous one did. Okay, so now what about the stock price? The thing that interests us as the investors. 
Trend volatility was seen after hours before Amazon shares ended the session slightly lower, as investors digested the news. And you know, Amazon also said sales in quarter one would be between 100 billion, maybe 106 billion, a slowdown from the first quarter, but an increase of between 33% to 40% from a year early, and expects coronavirus related costs to the to uh, decelerate after several months of heavy investments. Amazon additionally revealed the design of its second headquarters in Virginia, which features uh, spiraling outdoor walkways and was dubbed the Helix Amazon, is a reliable company and many people trust it. So in my opinion, the prediction for the company is pretty optimistic. We may expect a big increase in profitability and as a result in the price of the company. So Amazon will remain a good choice for investing that will bring a lot of income to, uh, to me and you as a retail investors in the long run. Let's try to think big picture about the direction of the company and how it may affect the price. So in my opinion, cloud business is obviously where the money is, where the profits are. It's that where Amazon wants to kind of put even a bigger focus than that is already. Becoming more digital is the focus for the future. And this is why Andy was the chosen person lead the company. We'll have to wait and see if the strategy will change the Amazon. But in my opinion, everything will be good. In a call with analysts to discuss the firm's financial results, Amazon chief financial officer Brian uh, Olsarski said, Jeff is not leaving. He is getting a new job. The board is super active and important in Amazon's success story. Jeff Bezos isn't leaving the firm entirely right. He's still going to be chairman and he will still be involved in some level even though he will not be involved in the day-to-day -day operations. So the company will not be changed a lot. And as executive chair and founder, he still uh, exercises huge power over the company. However, stepping back will inevitably mean less influence. His replacement, Andy JC, has been running Amazon Web Service, Amazon's booming cloud business division. All in all, Amazon will be in good hands. The company will grow and we can expect the increase in its share price. I hope you like this video, please consider to subscribe, smash the like button and I hope you will get a new Amazon share very soon.